friends. Um, so I wanted to share something with you. Um, it's so beautiful and I'm sitting here in tears because it's so beautiful. But I wanted you to I wanted to share it with you because I think it's such a beautiful example of compassion and understanding and um, true true inclusion and love. So it's gonna be hard for me to get through this, but I really wanted to share while I was really feeling it because I wanted you. Hi, honey. Oh, <laughs> so. <laughs> Um, the boys just got home from school and in Nate's folder was a, um, this book. And so most of you probably know that Nate switched schools, Nate and Cameron switched schools about a month ago. And so before he came, before he switched schools, I went into the classrooms and I talked with all the classes, with all the third grade classes, and I told them all the things that are um, the same, you know, like he loves, he drinks shakes. He loves shakes. Does anyone else love shakes? And we talked all about things that he loves, music and dogs and things that he loves. And then things that might be a little bit different about him. And I asked the boys, you know, can any of boys make the sound of Darth Vader? And, um, they all like, you know, start breathing like Darth Vader. And I said, well, that's what's super cool about Nate is he sounds like that all the time. Cause I was trying to sort of, um, break that barrier for them because I know that can be an issue um but this teacher <laughs> she's so amazing so all of you teachers out there thank you for what you do um so they wrote they wrote a book and bound it and and it says welcome to your new class Nate we are so glad you're here <laughs> and you guys Having a nonverbal child, it's like you don't really know how he's doing except that he would get on the bus and get off the bus happily. It could just be giddy. Like the first few days at his new school, he was giddy when he got off the bus. So, um, just like it clearly, like the teacher wrote a note to Nate, we are so thankful you're coming to our class. We love the same things you love and we will love you. You are a blessing to all of us. Love Miss Slaughter. And then like they each drew pictures like this one. Um, I can't wait to go and play on the swings with you. And they drew a picture of Nate and Will. And they these are like laminated beautiful book, right? Um, welcome to the class. I hope you have a fun time learning. I heard you love milkshakes. I like them too. So you guys, these are, and these are like beautiful pictures. Like they they put a lot of effort into this. They weren't just, they weren't just scribbling something and they were really thinking about a lot of them drew pictures of swings or dogs or drums or shakes. They were listening, they were paying attention and <laughs> sorry, this just matters so much. <laughs> Just one more confirmation that we did the right thing. Um, but I don't know what the point of all this is. I just wanted to share with you because this is really powerful and I will treasure this forever. Because <laughs> it just is all I want for him is for him to have people around him that care about him and want to embrace him and Oh, this book is beautiful. So, thank you for jumping on while I'm super raw. I just, I knew if I waited, I wouldn't be able to express how much this means to me to see these pictures. And even like at the bottom of on each page, there's a picture of the child too, like their school picture. So it's like she was wanting to help, help him learn who each kid was and Oh my gosh, it's just beautiful. Look how cute this is. They're on the swings and there's music and, they're, and they have shakes in their hands too and a dog. She like incorporated all the things he loves <laughs> in one picture. So anyway, I don't know how, like I usually like to say, you know, how you can apply some of these things. I don't know, maybe ask your kids 
ask them if they know anyone with special needs in their school and maybe find out um, if they know anything about that child or if they could find out what kinds of things they like and just help them make those connections. Because especially for those of us who have kiddos who are nonverbal, it's just, you just never know if they'll make the connections. And, um, but even like the kids that just don't quite fit in, you know, maybe they've got autism or maybe they just are really shy or something like help. We just need to help our kids draw connections and connect and have compassion. So anyway, thank you friends for joining me and <sighs> special thanks to the teachers out there who go above and beyond over and over again. Okay. <laughs> Bye.